What's up YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. Today on Tips and Reviews we're going to take a look at how to configure Tableau Connect remote access on an Edge router. Stay tuned! The Tableau DVR has a really cool feature called Tableau Connect remote access. This allows you to connect to your Tableau device using your mobile devices while away from your home network. In order for this to work successfully though, a few things need to be set up ahead of time. Like, enabling remote access on your Tableau settings page, configuring port forwarding on your edge router, and the mobile device used to connect to your Tableau must have successfully connected to the Tableau inside your home network before you could take it away from your home network. So, let's turn on remote access. When I do this, the Tableau will attempt to configure the edge router. You see it says it will set up your router to make sure your Tableau is accessible from outside your home network. Now with most consumer level routers, this auto configuration will work. I can tell you with the Edge router, it will not. Watch what happens. Let's turn on remote access. And you see the Tableau was not able to auto configure the Edge router. But it did give us some important information that we're going to need to know when we go over to the Edge router and do a manual setup. So we have to take into consideration the IP address of the Tableau and the port information. That being said, let's jump over to the Edge router now. Let's sign in, and oh, by the way, guys, I hope you change the default password. Okay, so now we're inside the Edge router. In order to configure Tableau Connect port forwarding information, we need to come over to the Firewall NAT tab. That brings us right into the port forwarding area. And the first step is to configure the WAN interface. Now the WAN interface is where your internet connection is coming into the router. For me, the WAN interface is PPPoE0. Yours might be ETH0, ETH1, all depending on how you initially set up your edge router out of the box. So I will select my WAN interface of PPPoE0. Now we need to add two rules because we have to set up port forwarding for two different ports. So the first port, 21071, needs to be forwarded to port 8887. So let's set up that rule by clicking the Add Rule button and entering the information. The protocol we need to change to TCP. The forward to address, remember, that's the address of the Tableau device on your home network. The forward to port and the description. Now you can leave the description blank, but I'm going to call it Tableau Connect. Oops. There we go. Okay, so that's the rule for the first port. Now let's set up the rule for the second port. So we're going to add the rule button. We're going to add 21070. We're going to change the protocol to TCP. We're going to use the same IP address, but this time the port has to be forwarded to port 80. Again, we could leave the description blank. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to just call it Tableau Connect again. Now that we have both rules set up, let's hit the apply button. Okay, the configuration has been applied successfully. Excellent. So let's jump back over to the Tableau settings page, retest the port mappings, and see if we've made a successful connection. Okay, here we are. Retest port mappings. And, ooh, and there we go. Yes, the Tableau is ready for remote access. For a second there, it looked like it didn't accept it, but then it did. Okay, so now with this being done, if you're outside your home network with your mobile device, and remember it needed to connect to your Tableau inside your network at least once before you can take it away, you should be able to watch your live TV and your recorded shows. Okay guys, now for the moment of truth. To simulate a remote connection, I've turned on my iPhone's hotspot 
and I've connected my home computer to that hotspot. Let's go to my Tableau and see if we can make a remote connection and watch some live TV. So it looks like it's connecting and it's connected. All right, let's go to the live guide. And let's bring up Judge Judy. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Also, put your comments below and subscribe to my channel. That's it for this week on Quick Tech Solutions. See you next time.